Hi guys, it's Charles, media buyer for Pearl Lemon, here with another one. Um, today what we're going to talk about is just a continuation on topic of customer acquisition. So we just want to um, do a, an example of what exactly, um, how, how exactly do we do we go about it with customer acquisition, right? So I'm just going to go to um, this live campaign that we have here. I'm just going to show you how you get to um, to have a look at what, you know, what, 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 what we're looking for. So obviously we have these three campaigns that are running here. Um, so I'm not selected any of them. I just selected on all campaigns to just show the metrics of all these campaigns, three of them, right? So if you go here you know, on campaign overview, it shows you just a basic overview of, you know, the campaign, but, um, basically if you're setting up the campaign, um, you need to take note of, uh, you know, uh, setting up the customer acquisition um, in Google Ads. So basically, um, you have to uh, decide uh, which option would you want to set for the customer acquisition, right? So you need to be able to give a correct setting that goes along with your campaign and your campaign budget as well. So basically, um, cause this is already set and I'm just gonna go to where you can see where that is set. So you go, if you go down to campaigns, go to campaigns, then come here to settings. Hold on. And again, settings. Uh, okay, let's do this. Per campaign, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. So if you select a campaign, right, that you want to either change um the customer acquisition which is already um obviously uh this was already set already uh here so this this is not recommended so this is something that uh, we actually need to optimize but just to show you where you'll find this option here so basically going back to or not all right so um so say what does it mean if the customer if the setting custom acquisition in google ad settings is set to be equally for new and existing right as is here so what does that mean so if the customer acquisition setting in Google Ads settings is set to bid equally for new and existing customers, it means that your bids will be the same for both uh, people who have never interacted with your business before new customers and those who have, which are the existing customers, right? So Here's a breakdown of the implications of this setting, right? So we want to understand what it does exactly to the campaign to our Google ads. So basically for your advantages, right? Um, your pros, the simplicity, like the, the, the setting is the easiest to choose and requires minimal configuration exposure to existing customers as well you you might reach existing customers who might be interested in buying again or exploring other offerings there's also brand reinforcement so consistent messaging across all audiences can strengthen brand recognition 
but what are the disadvantages right so firstly uh, there's inefficient spending you might be paying the same price for clicks from both new and existing customers even though existing customers might be more likely to convert so this can lead to wasted ad spend and then missed growth opportunities uh, by prioritizing bids for new customers you might miss out obviously on you know, valuable opportunities to expand your customer base and there's no value targeting this setting doesn't take into account the potential lifetime value of different customer segments so generally um bidding equally for new and existing customers is not recommended unless unless your primary goal is brand awareness and reaching existing customers is equally important as acquiring new ones um, or you have a relatively small customer base and reaching all potential buyers is essential or you have limited data or resources to set up uh, more sophisticated bidding strategies and that's um it uh there's just some tips for you if you are going to you know uh you know do going to google ads and you know you see the setting um so one may ask so what what would you recommend all right what 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 would you recommend then to um to you know to 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 do our way with this option right so this is what we're going to cover in the next topic of video